See ya. See you later. Good luck. <laughs> Tell the boy I said that. You've got paparazzi. <laughs> You all need to stay way down because you block the TV and we appreciate it, but you need to stay down. Also, when you get up to walk out, would you please try to not get in front of the camera? The other thing is, we have a few lost and found items. <coughs> Pardon me. A couple of you have left some things around. Uh, if you have lost anything at the registration table, we've got that, and you can pick it up. We're now joined by Coach Mac Brown from Texas. Coach, welcome, and your thoughts about the summer and upcoming season. Thank you, Peter. We uh, we were really excited at Texas that the Big 12 stay together and that uh, uh, we'll keep a lot of the traditional rivalries, and, uh, the Texas-Texas A&M game, the Red River rivalry, those type games will still be played. We actually polled our kids and our, our high school coaches and uh, our parents, uh, uh, players, and recruits, and, and they all were 100% that if it could work out to still have a Big 12, they wanted to. Uh, disappointed to see that Colorado and Nebraska will not be part of it in the future because they both are tremendous universities and, and have great programs. And uh, That's the only disappointing thing, I think, for us is that uh, uh, we've had tremendous rivalries and games with both schools through the years. And um, to not have them will, will be disappointing. But... We also understand that they need to do what was best for them. Questions? Good grief, Coach. Is that short enough? <laughs> Peter said I got three minutes. So was... No, that's not right. Anyway, we're, we'll take questions. We'll start on the right side back. Kirk first. Uh, Kirk Bowles from the Austin American. Uh, Mac, where would you list uh, finding depth and uh, good play at defensive tackle as a key to this season? It's our true key on defense, and we, uh, Keiston Randall is here with us today. He's a junior, but he needs to step up and play like Roy Miller and like Lamar Houston from, from last year. And then we've got numbers uh, at that position, but we do not have quality experience. And, and uh, we have to look at a number of guys to, to see what fits. We can go to a 3-4, we can move Sam Macho in there. We would rather not have to move Sam then. And all of a sudden, you're, you're looking at Calvin Howell, you're looking at Tyrell Higgins, you're, you're looking at uh, Kyle Kriegel, you're looking at freshmen. Uh, so that's that's one of the keys for us uh, to uh, determine in, in preseason. Randy. <coughs> Randy Riggs, off of America. Matt, what are your expectations this year for um, Kyle Hicks in particular and that whole offensive line in general with all the new faces across the front? <coughs> We will go back and, and work harder uh, to get the ball downhill from the tailback spot. We'll, we'll have the quarterback under the center more. Uh, we did a lot of uh, self-study and found out that uh, we had more explosive plays when the quarterback was under the center in the running game at, as well as the tailback being right behind the quarterback. Uh, so we feel like we'll give them a better opportunity to, to be stronger and tougher in the running game than we've been the last two years. In our self-study, we were second in the country in rushing in, in 04 and 05. And then when Colt took over, we started throwing the ball so much that we, we have not been as aggressive in the running game as we would like. And uh, it worked. Colt threw the ball really well. He's the most accurate quarterback in college football history. But also, when you have instances come up, when you lose a quarterback, and we lost Colt in the Kansas State game his first year and the Alabama game uh, last year, uh, you're putting your second quarterback in our estimation uh, under a tremendous amount of pressure if you can't run the ball. The other reason that, that we feel like we need to go ahead and run the ball more and, and better is the last two years in the BCS we played two back downhill running Ohio State and uh, this year we played two back downhill running Alabama and in both cases we didn't tackle the great tailbacks very well. 
So we feel like by uh, having downhill runs and working more in the running game and against the running game in, in practice uh, would help us if we go out of conference and see someone who wants to just line up and, and run us. Jimmy, on the outside. Jenny Carlson, Coach Brown. Talk a little bit about your quarterback 